Welcome to GH Pujar Info YouTube channel. Subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. Explain uh, the experiment called Newton X. So here the aim of experiment is to study that is to determine the radius of curvature of a given plane or convex lens using Newton rings. So to study this experiment, the apparatus required for this experiment are the first one, traveling microscope. So this is the traveling microscope. So this is called as the traveling microscope setup. Next one light source. Here in this experiment we are using sodium vapor lamp. So this is the sodium vapor lamp we are using. Next, plano convex lens. So this is the plano convex lens. So here the this surface is plane and the bottom uh, surface is convex. So this is called as the plano convex lens. Next, one plane glass plate. So this is the plane glass plate. So next, table lamp. This is the table lamp. If needed, we can use it to read the micrometer readings <coughs> and other things. So to determine the radius of cur curvature we are using this formula that is r is equal to d square m minus d square n that is average value divided by 4 m minus n lambda. So where r is the radius of curvature of a given plano convex lens and t is the diameter of uh, corresponding m to r n to dark fringe dark ring and m minus n is the difference between the rings and lambda is the wavelength of the light source we are using in this experiment. Okay, then what is the procedure to determine the radius of curvature just will explain now. So take a plano convex lens and this is the plane glass plate and just place like this. So we have this is the uh, plano convex lens setup. So place this one plano convex lens at the bottom of this microscope. So here we already place this one. So this is the plano convex lens, below this one plane glass plate is there. So next, so where the experimental setup is the next point is to switch on this light source. The light from this light source is the monochromatic beam light, light source is normally incident on this reflector and adjust this reflector so that we can get the Newton rings that is by the normal incidence of the monochromatic light beam rays on the plano convex lens. So this is the experimental setup what we are using here. So like this, this is the setup. So here the monochromatic light beam of light rays incident on the reflector. By adjusting the reflector, we can get the Newton rings uh, in uh, on the uh, plano convex lens. So. So if you look at the Newton rings after this setup, so we can, uh, the Newton rings are observed in this manner. So these are the Newton ring setup. So here I, I can show it, this is the central dark fringe alternate bright dark bright dark the uh, rings are formed on the surface of the plano convex lens okay next come to the observation so where to find the diameters here we can find the diameter find the diameters by using the traveling microscope to get the total reading of this micrometer we need lc so in that observation how to find the lc now we'll explain how to find that where the lc formula is a pitch divided by total number of HST. Where to find the pitch, so this is the pitch, we can find the pitch value that is the distance moved on the pitch scale to the number of rotations given to the head. So I will just explain this in my trolley microscope. So this is called as the head or drum or head scale and this is called as the uh, pitch scale. This is the pitch scale, it gives PSR value and this gives the head scale rate. Okay, to find the pitch of this uh, toweling microscope, so I, I just rotate this drum, for example, make it as zero. So I'll just, this one, I'm just making, I'm bringing this one drum, rota by rotating drum, to the coincidence, coincidence of the zero with zero. Once it is so, and note on this one, 
so where it is coinciding nearly 1.5 so to point the fitch value now move the distance and note no, note the uh, distance moved on the pitch scale that is how much distance is moved on this scale with respect to the rotation of the drum for example suppose i am giving one rotation that is by rotating the drum i am giving one rotation for example i start the rotation zero and next coming to the next while doing so the pitch scale that is the this reference line from here to here it is it, it, it covers one division on the pitch scale so note down here the distance moved on the pitch scale is 1 millimeter that is one division is moved so we can note it and note it and as one millimeter and the rotation whatever i have given is that is one rotation so therefore using this one i can calculate the pitch as one this is the pitch one i repeat so by rotating the drum that is one rotation the distance moved on the pitch scale is one division or one millimeter from here to here so note down here the distance moved on the pitch scale as one mm divided by the rotation is given is one so therefore pitch is equal to one mm next using th with the help of this pitch we can calculate the value of least count using this formula that is pitch we already noted this value right here this is the pitch value that is 1 mm divided by now note the value of that is total number of head scale divisions so this is the head scale started counting the number to how many number of divisions it has for example 0 next 10 20 30 likewise 90 95 99 likewise we have total number of divisions on this head scale is 100 noted this value and calculate this value we can get the lc of micrometer as 0.01 millimeter so this is regarding finding the value of lc of traveling microscope or micrometer <coughs> next come to the experimental procedure so where here we are finding the value of diameters for that reason so we need to find where exactly this ring is located on the left side as well as on the right side so this this location we need to find for that reason the first table it gives the diameters of the corresponding rings for example in this experiment let me consider the sixth ring so where we have you know this kind of newton rings in this experimental setup already we have this experimental setup and the cross wires what we have in this experiment In the field of view, we have the cross wires like this. This is horizontal and this one is uh, uh, vertical. We have the field of view in the Newton rings. And adjust this cross wire so that it coincides with the central dark ring. Next, we have conjugative Newton rings. Alternate dark, bright, dark, bright like this. Next to get the right side so i can divide this whole section as this is the right side and this is the left side okay to get this one sixth ring to get the right side right, right side rotate the drum rotate this drum so that this cross wire started to move towards the sixth ring for example this is first one second one third one fourth one likewise we have number of rings so rotate the drum so that this cross wires coincides with the sixth ring like this. Stop. At this point note the value of micrometer readings that is PSR and head scale. For example I am just uh, set, setting this one for the right side. I am going sixth ring and have set it this so at this point note down the value of that is PSR and HSR for example here I have in this Newton rings the sixth ring is coincided with the cross wires so that how to read the PSR value and HSR value ok here PSR can be re uh, read as for example this is the reference line here it is coincides with this one so therefore this is one 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 and it is in between 3 and 4 so therefore I am considering it as 1.3
this is the 1.3 and in terms of millimeter I can write this one as 13 millimeter so this is how we can note on the PSR value and note on the corresponding HSR value by the using the head scale so where this zero coincides with this division for example if you started to count this one this is the 10 15 16 17 18 almost 19 so it is coinciding with the 19 divisions so I can write this one as 19 so this is how we can measure uh, note the value of PSR and HSR using these values we can find the total reading as PSR is equal to 30 plus HSR is 19 into LC is the we already calculated this is the LC value and substitute here 0, 0.0 using this one we have we can calculate the total reading value and next then rotate the drum for the next reading that is fifth reading rotate the drum so that we can bring this cross wires to the next fifth ring this is the fifth ring then bring by rotating the drum and bring this cross wires to the fifth ring and this one by rotating this drum and bring this cross wires to the fifth ring next at this point again note on the value of PSR as we already done in the previous reading and note down this value and this one and tabulate it in the table so note down the value of PSR and HSR repeat the same procedure for the fourth ring third ring second ring in this one so and uh, repeat the same procedure so now the last reading in the right side we, here we have this is the cross wire at this point and note the value of PSR and HSR after this rotate, continue to rotate the, this drum so that this cross wires comes here towards the left side so I am just doing this one and rot by rotating this drum and bring it to cross wires to the this left side second ring so this is the left side now the second second ring again note down the value of at this point note the value of PSR and HSR and write it PSR HSR next continue to rotate the drum then go to third line that is third ring fourth ring fifth ring sixth ring likewise we can calculate the PSR and HSR and uh, corresponding total reading so next to find the diameter this is the table we can use it to determine the diameters of the corresponding dark rings and we here I am considering the 6 to second rings and uh, take the values of this total reading right side right here and similarly take the left side total reading values and right here take the difference of these two calculate here similarly repeat the same procedure for all the rings and then square this value whatever the value of we have and square it and write the value here and similarly repeat the for the all the rings then to find the d square m minus d square m consider the first two readings take the difference it uh, for the first ring let it be m and the second ring let it be as n take the difference of these two and write here and similarly next take the difference as this one and this one and write here similarly next take the difference between this and this right here next last one take the difference with this one right here likewise we can calculate all the d square uh, d square m minus d square n for all the rings once if you have all this one take the average of all this value and write here this is the average of this value next The value of wavelength for the sodium vapor lamp what we are using it is 589 nanometer take this value and the formula to calculate the radius of curvature this is the d square m minus d square n so this is the mean value from this table whatever the value we got take this value and substitute here divided by 4 m minus m means so here the difference between the rings that is 6 minus 5 is 1 5 minus 4 is 1 4 minus 3 is 1 so in all the cases we are taking the difference as 1 and take this one as 1 
So lambda is the five degree. So by substituting all the values, we can get the radius of curvature in this. So I'm substituting this one. So so this is how we are doing the experiment uh, to calculate the radius of curvature and finally noted the value of radius of curvature in the results.